Today I'm working on some percussion bits for the Galaspier album and the last song that I recorded drums on. And this is, I think I've said this probably a thousand times before, but this is one of my favourite things to do because this is when I can um, emphasise part of the drums and I can really put even more colour into the production. And uh, usually what I start off with is just uh, a shaker. Uh, or a maracas and why I do that is because it for one thing it binds the whole rhythm section together so that all those little if there is a twitchy eighth note if you put one of these on top it becomes like a grid and this is uh, just a really cheap plastic one so this is good for Jacob as well because he's probably always wondered what the what the yellow maracas is and this is And what I'm doing is that I'm, uh, when I'm recording this, I'm recording this in stereo, I'm constantly moving my body around just a bit, just so that it will shift a bit in the, in the stereo image as well. So it's not just like this big monolithic shaky thing in the middle or slightly to the left. It's, it can actually move around just like as if someone was playing it, which I'm actually doing. So now I'm gonna continue. Um, probably doing some more uh, more shakers. Uh, and that's also the same thing about that, is that I want uh, whoever's gonna mix it, I want them to have as many possibilities to uh, shift the dynamic of the track. So I'm gonna do a bit more shakers and then uh, possibly some hand drums. We'll see about that. Yes, and as you know, one of my, my general things that I do is that I change my mind. That's like the only constant. So instead of adding more shakers, I, uh, I jumped down from the couch there and went, look, I did my little skip. And then I saw uh, on, the, uh, on the spring reverb up there, I saw these little clay hand drums that I bought at a flea market probably like five or six years ago. And they're really high pitched. So I decided that I would be recording that instead. And uh, what I did was that I, I want to have something, because there's like a main drum riff in this track, and I wanted it to be a part of that. So if we just did something very, very simple and stupid, and it sounds like this. kind of nice and then you get the and then you've got this groovy kind of percussion thing the, the interesting thing is that I use the Walter Ego um, delay it's over there uh, on the drums. Uh, I gated the drums and then I put them through a delay and out through the AKG and uh, it's really interesting that you can use just the uh, delay, the effects return on the delay. And it's not really, uh, you don't really understand what's going on but it's got this really good forward moving motion that I like. Uh, so we'll see how much actual drums there will be on the album and how much of just the uh, uh, effect return you'll be listening to. Which is fun, there should be more of a, I think there should be a lot more crossover between dub reggae and, and progressive rock. I think that would benefit everybody. So I'll, I'll keep on going here, I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to film, but alright, yellow shaker and 
Clay and Handrum. Woo!